Hello and welcome to my channel. I am the Psych Auto Score, and today we'll be going over the update I just did on the Waste 4. Uh, best way to show you that is just to pretend we're scoring a fake patient and we'll see how those changes have been made. Uh, basically, I uh, just made things a bit more streamlined and I also added the GAI as well as the uh, process analysis. Um, so, just to show you how this looks first, you can see that uh, all these yellow boxes are blank. When you do do your own, you'll, ha you'll have to fill those in. Um, when it is blank, you'll see a lot of these NAs because those, uh, those formulas don't have any data to work with. And we can see that for the most part they're blank uh, because we don't have any of that data. As we put in data, we'll see those get filled in. Uh, so that's the regular analysis. Here's the process analysis page. Uh, it's a bit shorter, um, but it works just the same. And on this third tab, we have the graphs. And right now they're blank, but we'll see them get filled in as we add in more information. So uh, let's start with the test date. Uh, we're just going to do 1 15 2024. Um, keep in mind if you are in the States, uh, Microsoft does the month, day, year version. Uh, if you're outside the United States, uh, sometimes it has you do the day, month, year. So play, play around with those back and forth. Uh, just check that you're getting the right day and year. For the birth date, we're going to do 115-2000. Uh, so this should be a 24-year-old patient. Uh, we can tell that the year, you know, they're 24 years old, zero months and zero days, putting them in the uh, 20 to 24 year old age group. For the raw scores, we're going to add in, uh, we're just going to do 20 for all of them. Um, as we do put it in, pay attention to these secondary subtests. They'll get blacked out as we enter in the data because when we're doing the uh, index calculations, um, there is a limit on the number of subtests that you should consider when applying them. Um, for instance, when we're doing the VCI, we should only take into account the similarities, vocabulary, information, and if one of those tests is invalid or we're unable to deal with them, then we should do the comprehension. And we should only ever have three uh, subtests here. We shouldn't use all four, uh, so those will black out automatically. Um, all right, so once we enter in all of those, um, again, this is fake data, it's not real patient data. Um, you'll get the, uh, the index scores uh, right here. Uh, I've added on the GAI right here at the end. And once we add those, you can see what those composite scores for each one will be, as well as their percentile ranks and their 90% confidence interval and the 95% confidence interval. Um, now, right here, we're going to look at the discrepancy comparison uh, down here. And what we need to do before we can look at that is enter in data in these three yellow boxes. So the first one's asking your significance. I typically go with the 0.05, but we're, there's also the 0.15 option in the waste 4. So we'll just do the 0.05. Um, and then we have the comparison basis. Now, this can be the overall mean or the VCI and PRI means. Typically we do the um, the overall mean, but if you're just using the GAI, you'd use like the VCI and PRI means. And we can see here um, that the, uh, let's see, oh, that the means have been filled in right here. And then we check our base rates, if we want to use the overall sample or if we want to use the ability level. Um, that information will get filled in right down here, and when we enter it, it'll be either overall or the ability level. Let's do ability level just to show you. So we can see that our fake patient had a FSIQ in between 80 and 89, and using that, uh, then it'll give you the base rate if it had a significant difference. Now we can see that this overall mean, um, we're going to bring that down here. So we can see that uh, we can do, compare the different subtests compared to the overall mean, whether or not it has a statistic uh, significance and or significant difference, sorry. Uh, we can also change that to overall 
and we can see that uh, this base rate has changed and I believe this base rate has always been a overall mean that one doesn't change but if we change this one right here the VCI and PRA means we can see that these uh, subtests that aren't involved in the PRI or the VCI uh, we're not going to compare the differences there because we're not using their means all right so it's going to put this back to overall and now we're going to look at the process um, so when we're looking at process we want to enter in the BDN, DCA, DSF, DSB, and DSS um, and we're going to use 11s for those because that gives us good range of numbers and then we want to check our significance again we can choose 0 0.05 or 0 0.15 we'll just do you know let's do 0 0.15 just to be different and we'll do our base rates do you want this to be based on age group or an overall norm uh, I like using age group because it gives us more exact information and we can see that this data here got automatically filled in now we fill in the LDSF and the LDSB and so on and we're going to use 6, 5, 4, 3, and now that will give us this information right here with the base rates and the differences. Uh, one thing to note, um, if we do have, like let's say they they have a similar score, or the same raw score, uh, there will be a difference of 0, and with a difference of 0 we don't calculate a base rate, and that's why that says NA right there. We didn't have any data for it in our, uh, inside our manuals. So, uh, going on to the last page, this one's pretty similar. All I did was make it so when there's blank data, it has a NA, which creates this blank gap right here rather than the line that goes down to zero. So I think it looks a little bit nicer. Um, and so you can quickly look at the different um, values for your subtests and if there are any significant differences within them. So like we can see right here, digit span and arithmetic, they're both part of, I believe that's, yeah, working memory and there's a big difference there, so we'd probably want to check that out with our patient. And these are the uh, index scores. So we have the VCI, PRI, WMI, PSI, FSIQ, and the GAI. All right, that's everything. Hopefully that was helpful. And uh, go ahead and take a look at the description. There should be a link to this uh, template there. All right, thanks, guys.